In this short video, I will explain how to add an axle to a truck chassis in the Truck Science app. Adding axles increases the load carrying capacity of a truck while remaining within axle limits for bridge law. Let's take an example. The maximum payload of this configuration has been automatically calculated as 23,334 pounds. To add an axle, open the vehicle menu Click the Weights and Axles tab, then the plus symbol. To add an axle in front of the driven axles, choose Pusher. Note that a corresponding column is added to the weights table, and the maximum payload has increased by about 20% to 29,600 pounds. The program has estimated values for the weight that is being borne by the lift axle, and the maximum weight that the axle is permitted to carry. To review and edit these weights, reopen the Weights and Axles menu. The details of the axle we just added are grouped under the Weights, Axle and Tires tabs. The values in the text boxes which contain a checkbox may be overridden. The Read Only fields are automatically derived from other values, so are not editable. Weight is the total weight added to the vehicle as a result of adding the pusher axle and its suspension. Chassis weight modified is the portion of the total chassis weight that is carried by the lift axle when it is in the down position. This is affected by axle spacing. Switch to the chassis weight view to see how the chassis weight modified is calculated based on the distribution of the original chassis weight and the weight on the lift axle. Let's switch back to the summary view. The gross axle weight rating is the lesser of axle suspension and tyre ratings. The bridge or regulation limit indicates the maximum weight allowed on this axle according to all applied regulations without taking any manufacturer ratings into consideration. When multiple sets of regulations are applied, this value is the lesser of all regulation limits. The permissible value is the maximum weight this axle is permitted to carry, based on the gross axle weight rating and bridge fields. To change the permissible, you must edit the gross axle weight rating or bridge fields. The lesser of those values will determine the value of this field. Use maximum weight to specify the desired maximum weight for the lift axle. In other words, the imposed weight on the road when the rear driven axles reach their gross axle weight rating, that is, when the vehicle is fully laden. Note that the weight distribution ratio between the rear driven axles and this lift axle, implied by what you have specified in this field, will be maintained, even when the vehicle is partially loaded. Technical wheelbase is automatically calculated based on the weight distribution ratio implied by the maximum weight. Switch to the axle tab to specify whether this is a lifting axle, how high it lifts and whether it should be raised or dropped for the current calculation. The max lifting travel, or how far the axle lifts off the ground, is used only to render the drawing. Notice how the weight distribution, and in particular the maximum achievable payload, is recalculated as the axle is raised and dropped. In the Tires tab, specify the number of tires on the axle, two for single wheel axles and four for dual wheel axles. The tire radius will not affect weight distribution, but is used simply to render a more true to life drawing. Tire width may affect the regulatory limits that will be applied to your configuration. For certain regulations, the number of tires and the tire width are used to calculate the footprint of the tires, which plays a role in determining the permissible weights for an axle, axle group or vehicle as a whole. You should be able to source tire width information from the tire manufacturer. For this example, we used the Specify Axle Rating as Simplified method, as defined in Settings under Preferences. This method depends on the maximum weight field to determine the ratio of weight distribution over the lift and driven axles. There is an alternative method, which allows you to define the suspension rating separately, 
and for that rating to be used to determine the ratio of weight distribution over the lift and driven axles. Let's look at that method now. First, change specify axle rating as to detailed. The gross axle weight rating field is replaced by axle capacity, suspension capacity and tyre capacity, all of which may be overridden. The suspension rating now determines the ratio of weight distribution over the lift and driven axles. The permissible is still derived as the lesser of the axle ratings and the bridge or regulation limit. Everything in the axle and tyres tabs remains the same. And the technical wheelbase is calculated as per the weight distribution ratio implied by the suspension rating. Adding axles increases the load carrying capacity of a truck while remaining within axle limits for bridge law. If you have any questions regarding adding axles in the Truck Science app, please get in touch via our in-app chat. Thank you for watching.